You've been so good. I can't just make a meal. I got to make a banquet. You've been so good. I can't just bring water. I got to bring wine. You've been so good. Oh, you've done so much. You're so awesome. You're so wonderful. You're the mighty God. You're the everlasting Father. You're the Prince of Peace. You're the great I Am. Oh, Jesus. I just got to tell you, thank you. This church is not short of miracles. For the Lord has blessed this house. There have been many miracles, many deliverances, many healings, many people getting filled with the Holy Ghost. But God said, you need a thank you service. And you need to make a list. You've been making a prayer list. It's time to make a thank you list. And he's not just talking about collectively as a church. You need to do that as an individual for your own life. A thank you list. And, and, and listen here, we get real specific when we talk problems, and then we talk blessings. I want to thank God for life, health, and strength. Uh-huh. We want to get all general. No, no, get real detailed now when it comes to the blessings, when it comes time to thank them. Get, get detailed. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for letting me be in my right mind. I could have woke up and lost my mind. There was stuff that should have drove me crazy. But God... Who is the sustainer of my sanity, the lifter of my head, the lover of my soul, the preserver of my life? You don't know like I know. You don't understand. I should be crazy. I should have been out of my head. But God. I should be somewhere in a sane asylum in some padded room with some straight jacket on. And for my activities, I should be cutting out some paper dolls. But God, but God, stuff happened that should have just pushed me over the edge. But God, stuff happened that broke my heart so deep, I thought I'd never recover. But God, you've got to excuse me. i got to thank him. You haven't done for me what he did for me. If you only understood where he found me, you would understand my praise. You would understand my thanks. You would understand my gratefulness. You would understand. If you only know how he healed my child. If you only know how he touched my wife. Touched my husband. If you only knew how he kept my family. When we lost people. And we should have all just given up. I'm sorry I can't just sit here and act like he's done nothing I was passionate about asking him to help I remember kneeling and crying saying oh God so excuse me if I'm passionate now about telling him thank you
I got to prepare my banquet. I got to prepare my banquet. The Lord said, through this 50 days of fire, strongholds have been broken. Sound people, I need you to turn this down some so we're not hurting people's ears. Turn it down a little bit, please. If it's on three, turn it to two and a half. Thank you. The Lord said that it's going to take, well, let me reiterate the way he put it. Strongholds have been broken. Spiritual forces, leviathans. Heads have been crushed of the leviathan. God has heard your prayers as he even gave forth the interpretation of tongues here today. But the Lord said there comes a point that when I do so much and I've been so good, and I'm doing amongst you what I'm not doing amongst so many others. And you can just so casually, nonchalant, almost with a spirit of indifference, you get so used to the miracles. You get so used to hearing somebody speaking of tongues at the altar. Some of you don't understand. Some altars haven't had somebody filled with the Holy Ghost in five years or more. You get so used to people being baptized. You get so used to miracles and people being delivered. You get so used about hearing about what I do for the school and how I made a way and how I opened the door, and how I've touched the children, that now your ears are almost dull to it. In fact, you're so used to it that if I don't move quickly on what you want, you start to pout rather than shout. But God said, I want you to understand, I am not your cosmic butler. I am God Almighty. It's not about you snapping your fingers and expecting me to be there. Sorry, baby, it ain't that kind of show. You got the wrong place. You got the wrong God. But this is about the fact that I love you so much that I have moved. And now I'm telling you that unless you become fat babies, unless you become spoiled brats, you got to have some time just to tell me thank you. You got to marinate on what I've done. You got to let it roll over and over again in your spirit. How good I've been to you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, give somebody a high five and say he didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to touch me, but he did. He didn't have to deliver me, but he did. He didn't have to raise me, but he did. I could have been dead in my grave, but he raised me to offer him praise so I'm just going to say thank you I'm sorry if you don't got this testimony I don't know what to tell you but all I can tell you is about my testimony he's been good somebody pat yourself and say my testimony this is my testimony this is my testimony. Because I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember the sleepless nights. I remember the headaches because of the pressure of how am I going to work this out? What's going to happen next? I remember somebody in here remembers not having a car, needing a car. And God told you what to do and you received a car. Some of you remember you didn't have a job. God opened a door and gave you a job. Some of you, you remember that you needed more money. God gave you a raise on your job. They'd already said the job had a cap. 
They'd already said nobody else is getting raised. But after they announced that, they called you in. And you were the exception to the rule. You got to forgive me while I throw a Holy Ghost fit all up in this house. Oh, God. Because he's just being good. Give somebody a bump with the fist and say, God is just good. You better know it, baby. He's good. The capital G, he's good. All by himself. He's just good. Yeah. Maybe to you, maybe to you, this is just a lot of emotional hype. Maybe to you, this is just a lot of emotionalism. But I want to tell you what, if folk can scream for the Green Bay Packers, Folk can make noise for sports figures and get all emotional and bounce off a chest and do high fives because somebody made a touchdown, somebody made a slam dunk. Well, you excuse me while I get emotional because Jesus made a touchdown for me. He made a slam dunk for me. I feel like preaching, but I hear the Lord saying, It's time for the banquet. Now listen, friend, if you don't got nothing to be thankful for, please, you're excused. But, 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 but if you got something to be thankful for, you got a healthy baby, all you got to do is visit some hospitals and see the way little children can be, how sick they can be to where doctors can do nothing and you're holding a little healthy baby you got a little child running around I know you may be tired in your body but aren't you glad God was not tired to answer you God wasn't tired of hearing your voice he wasn't tired of seeing your face. So excuse me while I, I muster up strength for everything else. I'm tired and I go to school. I'm tired and I go to work. I'm so I'm about ready. I'm about ready to set it off in this house. You say, 